Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's YouTube video is a little bit different because in this video I'm going to be doing a gaming phone review. Now a big thank you to Nubia and Red Magic for sending this out to me. I do want to mention I was not paid to do today's video but I was kindly sent this phone for free. Now there'll be a couple of links at the top of the description as to where you guys can check this out. This phone is under $500 which is an absolute steal. And as you guys know, gaming on a phone, gaming on a tablet is getting popular by the day. So just a couple of things I wanna mention that there is two versions of this. We have this, which is coming in at $479, which is eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of space. But there is a, a pricier version, which is $599, 12 gigabyte of RAM and 256 gigabyte of space. Now, after checking out a couple of other reviews about this phone, um, this one does the job. Unless you're looking for more space, I would probably stick to this one. So this is the Red Magic 3S, the latest edition. So let's open the packet. Let's see what we've got inside. And throughout today's video, we're gonna be testing its full power. All right, let's open this and let's see what we actually have inside. So one thing I'm really interested in about this phone is after reading the back, it has touch sensitive shoulder triggers. So basically you can align the shoot buttons on PUBG or Call of Duty or even Pixel Gun to shoot using the top triggers, you know, like using an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. So this is my first time actually seeing this phone. It is pretty big. I have big hands, so this is definitely gonna be the perfect device for me. Doing a little bit of a comparison compared to the iPhone 7, which I actually have a case on this. This thing is absolutely huge. So let's check everything that is inside this box. Now, this is the phone, which comes with a 6.65 inch display screen. I've already powered it on by mistake, but I will show you guys the load up because it does come with a really cool screen. Now I'm gonna love this already because it's big. I'm, I'm used to gaming on a tablet. I think this could be the perfect backup. Put it inside my pocket and, and take it out with me. It's a lot easier. So already pretty impressed with what I've seen so far. So the box is gonna be pretty standard. It's gonna be, I'm guessing the charger, maybe some headphones. Not entirely sure if this does come with some headphones inside of this one. This is just gonna be the charger, which is just a standard Android kind of charger. Let's get inside of here. Let's see what we have available. This is what we have. Pretty standard now to the Android devices. And we've just got the, the charger pack as well. I don't know if there's anything else inside of, yeah, there is. I think this is just gonna be, ah, okay. That's obviously for the uh, SIM card. And then on the inside is just a couple of details on a little bit more in depth about this. If you're like me, I don't tend to read these kind of things because you know, I like to learn as I go along. So before we focus what this phone has in terms of power, I wanna focus on what's available on the outside. There's a couple of really cool features about this. So it is an actual metal phone. It does come with its own protective cover, which I recommend keeping on. This is a, an RGB uh, strip, which basically changes colors, you know, cause we're gamers, we like colors. This right here is a fingerprint sensor. This is the camera. It does have, I believe, Possible microphone there, but it also has one on the bottom as well. Now, the thing I'm really excited about on this phone is these two, because these are touch sensitive triggers. So you've probably seen a couple of gamers, they attach things usually in this position. It's a clip on thing. It gives you the ability to shoot and put your buttons on the top of the screen. With this one, it's actually built in. And as you guys know, holding your phone like this to game is gonna be the most comfortable thing anyway. Now it does come with high efficient um, cooling, Fans, this thing right here is kind of out the way, which is perfect. The fans at the top, it's not gonna be blocked by your, your hands below. It's basically next to the triggers, which I think is brilliant. I think you have the ability to attach this to a dock or maybe a keyboard as well. Now, this right here, I believe turns on like the gaming mode. So we will check this when we turn on this phone, but I'm not gonna show you guys gameplay like this. I'm actually gonna attach a wire to here and show you guys its uh, full ability. So I've turned this phone back off I wanna turn it back on and show you guys the screen that it has available because it does have a really cool, uh, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. It does have a really cool screen as it powers up. You got the Red Magic right there, powered by Android. It will be just standard dock Android version, um, but I was really impressed with it. I really do like that a lot. I think it makes a noise, but I think I might have to turn off the volume as well. So these are just the standard settings that you need to accept. So I'll do that and we'll go through a couple more things. 
So like I explained, the phone is just standard Android. It does have a cool background that's available. It's just the standard version of Android, which is the latest at this moment. But like I said, guys, with this red button right here, this is where things get interesting. Now, if I flick this, show you guys, as you guys can see, it's got the red magic, but this is where all the gaming happens. Now on screen right now, it says separate game space, restoring handhold game experience. And then it's got start game acceleration, uh, imagining the competitive world. So this phone is purely built for gaming. Now to show you guys a better view of this, I'm just gonna press start. We are gonna have to install a couple of games for me to show you guys exactly how this works. Again, I'm more interested in setting up these two triggers to something like Call of Duty uh, Mobile as well. So let's install a couple of games and I'll show you guys the true power of this. So what you guys see right now is what happens when you activate that red button, which I showed you throughout today's video. Now there's a couple of things I wanna go through on here. Of course, I've installed Call of Duty and I've installed Asphalt some high demanding mobile gaming uh, games. Now you can modify that image and uninstall it if you really wanted to. You can add a total of five different games to this panel just by simply pressing the plus. Whatever games you've installed, they will automatically be there. Now there's a couple of things I wanna go through as well because on the bottom left, we have cooling fan. By default, this is active. Pressing it, the fan will go off. Obviously pressing again, will turn the fan back on. You can hear this fan very faintly. However, having it off, is giving your device the high risk of overheating. Now the Aurora band is just for the back of the phone. When it's enabled, it has like the lights flickering. Again, we're gamers, we like flashy lights. It's up to you to have it on and off. Obviously having it on, you might drain a little bit more battery. I think this changes depending on the game you are playing. We've also got red, red magic time. When you enable or disable this, as you guys can see, when you turn it on, the moment you record automatically during the battle may conflict with other recording functions and increased power consumption. It only supports the Stimulus Battlefield, the Glory of the King, Fortress, and PUBG Mobile. So you might see more games introduced there, such as uh, Call of Duty as well. So I'm gonna keep that off for now. I really like this function though. This thing is great. Enabling the function will block all incoming calls, text, SMS, QQ, WeChat, voice, video, etc. Basically, you're not gonna get interrupted while you're gaming. I really, really like that. Top right, we have the ability to um, obviously enable or disable your fans. Obviously, that's turning the fans off. Basically, what I showed you guys at the start. You have intelligent adjustment and rapid cooling. Turn on the maximum speed of the fan. It does sound a little bit more demanding when you have this on. The intelligent adjustment is fine unless you're gaming for a really long period of time. You have recording settings down to recording quality. By default, guys, I recommend changing it. It's, it is set to SD. Now, you wanna make sure you set it to HD. I don't think I can edit this right now because I'm currently recording with the built-in software at this moment. You wanna have HD because you're gonna get better quality and you've got basic settings, help, and you've also got, I just moved this out the way, a controller. Um, I don't have the controller, but it looks like controllers are possible to be connected to this phone. So the gameplay you can see is just Call of Duty Mobile. I have this as the highest settings. I also wanna mention the gameplay that you can see is recorded with the built-in software. It wasn't laggy, it wasn't crashing, it wasn't freezing. One thing I will mention though, is with me recording to the highest quality and also playing a high-end game, I did notice that the fans did start to speed up. However, I played a couple of games and the phone was still not hot, which I think is normally priority when you're, you're gaming on a phone for a long period of time. You don't want your phone to be heating up because for one, it's not good for your, for your phone and for two, it's definitely gonna drain your battery a lot faster. Now, I have big hands. I've mentioned this many times. It's usually why I game on a tablet. However, with this being a big phone, I didn't struggle at all to mess around with the buttons. Obviously, granted, I should have changed the layout of the buttons in this gameplay. But I've been really impressed by this phone so far. So one thing I do wanna mention in today's video is this phone review on my channel is from a gamer standpoint. I'm a gamer, I play a lot of handheld games, and I've been incredibly impressed with this phone. However, it does offer other abilities. Not only is it a gaming phone, but it has a fantastic battery for both gaming and just general use. It comes with a 5,000 mAh battery, but as for the camera, the rear camera is 48 megapixels and the front camera is 60 megapixels. So if you do like to take pictures, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple in a minute, then it still has a very decent camera as well.
So overall, I've definitely been impressed by the Red Magic 3S, guys. And for a phone that's under $500, which is brilliant for general use and also gaming, this is something I would highly recommend. And again, I wasn't paid to say that. This is my honest opinions, more from a gamer standpoint than just general phone. Because remember, guys, I'm not a tech channel. So there'll be links down below where, as to where you guys can check this out. If you want to know any more information about this, they do have their own website where you could probably email them and ask questions if you're wanting to know a little bit more. So guys, have a great day, stay beautiful, and of course, I'll catch you next time. Bye!